transition, you know we always have to have a guest every single, you know, Tuesday and Thursday. And today is no different. We have a very first guest on the show. He is, um, how do I even introduce him? He, <laughs> let me do this. He's a, you know, he's a songwriter. He's a performing and recording artist. He's a rapper. He's a pastor. He's a man of God. You know, he's... He's a, he's a lot. He's many, he has many hearts. And of course, he had to come through on the show today. He's also a TV host, by the way. You might have seen him somewhere. And today, he made time to come hang out with us on Bounce Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it a four. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> different mixer. Oh, it's a different uh, yeah, 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 yeah. mixer. That's a okay. So, it has my dear fussy. Coffee? Eh, hey, so far, enjoying the show over here. Mm -hmm. Meskia kuna kompeflan is due between uh, Dumbala and Kamua Leo. Yeah, you have to tell us. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, actually, I started writing my, so my music with Y Ray. Oh. We were in the same class in high school, so oh, okay. that's why we kind of like crafted our 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 penmanship. Mm -hmm. So nasikia kuchagua yongo mayake. Juni like beste. Juni beste, lakini like mm -hmm. pia DNA ni beste yangu. So chana ah. kumanda sema, Dumbala. <laughs> hey, Dumbala, <laughs> we have it. The A's have it. I told you, Dumbala ni luambia leo, sisi ni wale wasaid. Like, yeah. Tuesday, Kingsley ya reo nafatu, you should shake my hand. Why? Why? Like why? Tuesday, <laughs> nizako finale. It doesn't happen. Kubali. It only happens when Kofi Annan is around. Ah. Until then, until then, until until then, yeah, I try. We fight. I try. I try. We are in a football same WhatsApp group. You guessed it right. Anyway, shout out to everybody that is tuned in today. We have Pastor from. I don't know if that's what you go with in terms of music. Ama you can actually just introduce, reintroduce yourself. Okay. Ah, hello, viewers. My name is Jeff Rokatai. I'm a Christ activist. I'm a hip hop artist, and I'm a I'm, I'm just a creative, all around creative, mm -hmm. and just a pleasure being here this afternoon. We love to see you. Thank you so much for making time to come through ah, today. No doubt, no and doubt. And your journey in music did not start today. You yeah. started um, a while back. You are rapping, and then you took like a very long hiatus. Yeah. Yeah, and you are back now. This is that time you before Wednesday, and then that long period you took. Yeah. What was happening? Why did you take a very long break from music? Break from music. Okay, like um. I was involved just in the culture. I've been passionate about hip hop since I was pretty much a teenager. Mm -hmm. And just like in different roles, uh, writing music, performing, going for freestyle challenges, etc. And uh, when I finished fourth form, God opened a door for me to leave the country a little bit. Oh. So when also like in that space, I was involved just in organizing house parties, uh, mm -hmm. parties. I used to DJ once upon a time. <laughs> so when I came back to the country, I remember like I was friends with, you know, like just the hip hop cats, like Akina Okoflani, Mau Mau. That's oh, like in around 2004. Nice. Yeah. So even I remember like there's an, uh, an epic album for any hip hop uh, fan, actually maybe watching the show, Kilio Chahaki, which happened like around 2004. Um, I was part of it there. I've battled Kantai, the late Katai rather, yeah. um, etc. But in the year 2005, I gave my life to Christ. Oh. And for two years, I was diligently serving in the church. I was going to just, I wanted to just know who is this Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. But two years later, I was like, you know what, bro? The passion of hip-hop is still there. And when I was inviting some of my friends to church, they were like, why are they? They were not really feeling comfortable yeah. in that home. So this idea just came to my mind, you know, like, is, there, is it possible to have an event that caters for hip-hop, spoken word, etc., and guys can just come, not really to be preached at, but they can build relationships over there, and also Christ can be glorified. So while I was just, like, ruminating on that idea, um, there's a friend of mine in the U.S., who told me, like, Jeffro, like, this thing you're thinking of, there's actually someone who happens to be in Nairobi right now who was doing something similar here in D.C. So you guys can actually get to connect, etc. I connected with another Malawian gentleman called Chico. We started something called Mad Love Lounge. That's in the year 2007. Uh, other guys who joined us, there's an artist called Holy Dev. Maybe you guys are familiar with him. Of course. Uh, and Mudengi. Also, yeah, Mudengi. And also, like, DJ Shock, DJ Gigi. is mm -hmm. also, like, a host yeah. in one of the shows. And Mad Love Lounge, by the grace of God, just grew. So oh. it was a platform whereby just artists came and honed their skills. Akina Echo, from Akina Echo Didas to Akina Mr. T. To, like, when it comes to gospel, hip-hop, in yeah. Kenya, Kelele Takatifu, most of them pass through the school of Mad Love one or the other. So oh, I really nice. thank God for that, uh, for that privilege and for that opportunity. Also yeah. through Mad Love, we were able to get some artists from the States coming to Kenya. So from guys like Lacre oh. to Andy Mine, oh, you to that like, like, we were involved just like in promoting like that really, stuff really over here in the up. country. Absolutely. Yeah. I, 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 I absolutely respect him. All right, good stuff. Yeah. So I, I've been involved in that space, been really passionate of communicating um, the love of God through the arts, through the, mm -hmm. mu the music. In the year 2013 or so, I felt uh, God calling me to another space. 
whereby just um, I went to this particular church which was doing amazing work when it came to reaching out to street children. Mm -hmm. uh, just like getting them to church where they could get to shower, they could get to wash their clothes, uh, they could get to be mentored, etc. So I joined that church just because of that passion. And uh, I rose in the ranks of the church, was ordained to be a pastor over there. Yeah. I uh, really thank God for that, served with the people, loved the people. But in the year 2018, I felt my love and my passion for music was being called back as an artist. So during the 2020 Corona break, I started painting an album called God, Life and Hip Hop, uh, an album which kind of like took one and a half years to pen. I released it uh, two weeks ago, actually. Yeah. Um, and in the album God, Life and Hip Hop, that's where I, what I came to speak about today. Uh, there's a gent over there called Letter to Ye. Is a letter actually I wrote to Kanye West uh, with another yeah, artist from Malawi. Yeah, I've listened to that. How did how did you find the joint? I hope he gets to listen to that. Yeah, I hope, I hope he'll get to Kanye play it one day. Like, uh, if he to what I'm talking, if he can. I believe, I believe it. I'm thinking. Like, yeah. even get better peer viewers if possible. Peer low and like a sample or chicky like what what you need. What what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also another single I released last week called "Song for Mama." Yeah. I wrote that for my mom, but in extension, just for every mother out there. Yeah. Just, because you knew Mother's Day was coming. Is that did you drop <laughs> it intentionally for Mother's no, Day? No, actually, no, not really. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just a song, you know, which I was spending from the heart. To, how can I give my mom flowers so she's still here? Yeah. And then also the artist called Daniel Chikwaza, another amazing artist from Malawi. We came and she, he gave her a really amazing hook and yeah so we released the song uh there's a lyric video right now if you guys go to um youtube jeff rakatai you can find the lyric video over there also plus a short snippet video but the music video itself is coming soon uh some guys interested from even outside the country just to partner with us to bring that to fashion so yeah grateful for that oh we love that mm -hmm. and but, but you've been in the game for so long yeah you've been with the, the akina kantai you've been with a way rare you've been with all these big names and um what, what, why do you think like we're not there yet? What, what, what do you think like, um, you know, like, uh, let's say like people who like take maybe something different, something like that is more commercial, mm -hmm. they'll be like way far because you've been there for a very long time, more than 10 years in the game. Yeah. And you're still here. You're still pushing. Why? No, no, no. But that's a difficult point. Maluna Fakukua. Uh, okay, so I'm like Kenyan musicians. I'm no, 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 like, like where, where you, you specifically, yeah. you've been in the game long enough. Yeah. You know all these people, you've yeah. worked with them, yeah. but Bado, Flo Bado, Jatoka, Vile Inafa, Bado, like, oh, uh, you're okay. not there yet. Okay, okay. I'm sure you, you like, there's a place you want to get. I Bado know. I know. Why do you think it's <laughs> hindering that? Uh, I think seasons and times, mm -hmm. and my passion mainly has not really been too much to be a commercial artist. Mm -hmm. I made a, a deal with God when I was in my 20s whereby like, I was like, okay, should I really pursue the money route or should I pursue the impact route? And after, after battling with him like Jacob for a whole night, I mm -hmm. chose to pursue the, the, the impact route. And I really feel in my capacity, I've been able to impact and leave a mark in the gospel industry yeah. over here in Kenya. Yeah. Just behind the scenes, doing Bible doing studies. Doing, I've done cashers with over like 50 artists on a consistent, from the Julianis to... So like I've I've got that trap with them. I might not be the one in front, yeah, but, but I've got their the ear. Scenes, so I can like, be like, yo, like if if I want to reach their masses, it's, 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 I believe it's easier for me to be able to do that. I know. And I'm really grateful for that, you know. And most people don't yeah. know that, but pesa by the end, I'm go behind the scenes. Let's get behind the scenes. Mm, that's well, where no, the no, money no. is. <laughs> that's where the money is. I know. It's when yeah. everybody watch TV, producers know. Watch what? Watch a show about pitch, check out producers. I know, I know, I know. I don't know. I don't know. Just hold that thought. We're gonna take a very short break. We're coming to watch twenty latest. Story up on Multimatch, yeah. You know, hashtag Bounce Nation. Let it yay. For those who don't know, yeah, that is Kanye West, by the way. He no longer goes by Kanye, he goes by, you know, yeah. All right, now, so you being a pastor. Yeah. Why do you feel the need to do to address that? Because we know, like Kanye says, like Jesus lives. He we had a whole album, Jesus is Lord, and everything. But he's still not living the Christian life, though. He's yeah. still like you know involved with so many other things. Don't you think like that's going to be controversial? Did you ever think about that before releasing the song? Yeah, I know, and but that's why I'm called. Mm -hmm. I'm not really called to the church, but I'm called to the unchurched. Mm -hmm. And in this generation, you know, like when I was growing up, social media wasn't really there. So, you know, you could go to church, there'll be Sunday school, you could go to school, there'll be CRE. At least everyone had that reverence for God or had been introduced to faith, one or the other. But in this generation, because of the access to the internet, like there are all these different philosophies, theologies, all these different mindsets and worldviews that are easily to access just by the tap of a button, right? Yeah. So, because of that, you'll find like people still have got that gap in them whereby they are seeking God, but all this information over information that's around them, they don't really know, like, okay, 
if if I'm pursuing God, can I still be, be able to do this? And sometimes you can find like the church you normally just is either black or white. So like my thing is to be able to create the bridge, to be the bridge whereby like not everything in culture is sinful, yeah. but also like how can we be able just to communicate like God? Every good gift comes from the Father of Light. God created this gift, but there's a purpose for it. So my thing, like I've been following Kanye even like in 2019 when he was doing Sunday service. I really felt it was impactful for the culture. You could find guys over there like two chains, you know, going for the Sunday service. Yes, you could find like uh, the Noriegas, etc. And Jesus is for everybody. So like by just planting that seed and then there'll be someone else who will come and water the seed. There'll be someone else who will come and. So my thing, I might not be the, the Sunday pastor in church. I've been there before. But right now it's just like how can I engage the culture and be able to show them the light uh, where there's darkness. Speak life to the dry bones of the culture. That's my purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. So like you being a pastor, you don't mind like, there's a friend of mine, like personal experience. Yeah. He like he was clubbing, woke up in the morning and he's like, yo, bro, like me, me, like I feel like I, I have to go to church. Like yeah. He just felt like he should go to church, and then he went to church. He really was inspired. I kept at church, and then like he was still high. Yeah. He was hefing. I go, well, bro, nah. I go to church. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't respect the house of God. How dare you come to <laughs> yeah. church drunk? Yeah. So he's like, I'm never going back to church. Yeah. Like church is very judgmental. And, like, and do you feel like uh, people are hard? To church exactly, and that's what I want to break. Like truthfully, because mm. I really feel like church is not a museum for the saints. But church is a hospital where everybody, none am a fika. Kila mtu wako na ugonjwa yake. You know, even right. the pastor himself, the, the, actually the doctor is not the pastor, it's Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. So when everyone comes into the church, you're on a different processes of just getting healing and restoration. Maybe someone hurt by their parents, maybe someone hurt by their teachers, by an elder before, by a minister. Trauma. Trauma. People so so our people. thing right now is not just like to put the fence to be higher, but to bring down the fence and tell people, come, you know, like if, me, I'm just like a beggar telling another beggar where the food is at. Right. And if, if we can take that approach for the people who have had an encounter with God, I really feel we shall be able to be impactful to this generation. Mm. Let them know they are, they've got a place they belong, not by the do's and don'ts. Once they know they belong, they'll get to know the do's and don'ts as time goes by. All right. Yeah. And you have a new album. Well, I think we only talked about two songs from the album. You know, yeah. tell us about the whole album in, in and the whole show. inspiration behind yeah. it. So the whole album, is, as I said, is called God, Life and Hip Hop. And pretty much it's just having conversations, engaging the culture. There's a song over there called Dry Bones Live Again um, with an artist I'm sure many of us might be familiar with called Kevo Youth. Yeah, I know. Kevin. He's been <laughs> in the <laughs> game for a minute, He's right? Been, yeah. I, had, I, mean, I brought him from out of retirement because yeah. Kevoyut, when 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 Red Sun was doing his thing, Kevoyut was now doing his thing in the gospel. You know, when it comes to dance, so yeah. I was like, "Yo, Kevoyut, you are, you are an impactful brother." So he came. He's in the project. There's also Groove Award, um, Hip Hop Artist of the Year, Maluda, in the same song, uh, "Dragon Sleeve Again," produced by Othole. Uh, there's a song over there featuring Tanapi himself. Uh, from Malawi, a really dope producer. Like actually, like one day I hope even he comes to visit your show. I believe he's one of the dopest producers in Africa, but truly un undiscovered. Uh, he's also part of the, in the album. I want to big up everyone. Wamba Mimshak, another minister, also like a really dope MC. Uh, one of the line he has, he has is like, "Kwa hizi flow, misi kageni kama maina." Yani like he, he, he's got dope word plays. So it's, yeah. it's a mix of Swahili, English, but at the end of the day, there's something over there for everybody. Whether you are elderly, there's uh, something called Song for Mama. I hope I'll get to maybe perform that before the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something for the young people, trap, drill. But also if you are someone who was raised in the old school by the 90s hip hop, also you'll find some, some good stuff over there for sure. Ah, oh, we love that. Like how many tracks? 12 tracks. I recorded around 19 tracks, but I put 12 in the At least, yeah, Kionjo Kionjo, because I consider myself a newbie in the game right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in the game for a while, so I come to with the humility. And you know, Nikioma, man, that's Kenny Zimamziki. But uh, towards the end of the year, the tracks which are not able to make it, I'm planning to do a Christmas EP. Yeah. Uh, around maybe the, the last quarter of the year. So I'll, I'll put maybe some of the tracks, record maybe three Christmas tracks, and just like give it to the people. All right, so when you meet Jesus, sit to me, say, "Mas, yes, my newbie." So, what's the plan, bro? Like, are we going mainstream? We are here to push this. Yeah. Am I like, uh, what are you planning? Like, moving forward, the album has dropped. You're yeah. here. We are pushing the album and everything. Like, I wanna, I wanna see because I really mm. believe like the urban artists in Nairobi. Sometimes we. Uh, we just try like the usual ways, you know, take the music to the radio, take the music to the TV stations. But when you look right now, in this, we, we're in a global village. And if it's urban music, it might not be mainstream over here, but there's someone in Malawi who can be able to listen to the music. There's someone in Zambia, in Cape Town, mm -hmm. in Lagos, and even the diaspora, you know, Toronto, NY. So my main thing right now with this particular album is those 12 songs to see how I, ca I can take each and every song like a baby and see how I can push it. 
to the demographic that's supposed and meant to listen to that music. So like right now, just making phone calls, sending emails to different people, seeing if I can get airplay in the radio stations over there. Because I really believe once that's possible, once I'm able to create the path for Jeffro, I can get other artists, other newbie artists also like Noshkili Mkono Nwambie, this is the path. At least you can be able. Because music, there's an audience out there, uh, yeah. my, my people. But right now, I think sometimes we limit ourselves. Come on, I, I feel like in this generation of the streaming services, it's really tough. Because 10 years ago, I could create the music, print uh, 3,000 CDs, give myself maybe three months, clubs, churches, etc. Right now, it has to be available in the streaming services. Mm. But now, how do you create awareness? Yeah. So right now, it's Nini, I thank God even for you guys opening the doors over here. This is part of the awareness. And I like to tell everyone actually watching this, how can you help me? Go to YouTube, at least just like subscribe to my channel, Jeff Rokatai, J-E-F-R-O-K-A-T-A-I. Go over there, you know, hit, hit subscribe, hit the bell. And so I'll be able at least to let you know once yeah. new music is popping up. Mm -hmm. And right. you can also go to any streaming services. Just look for Jeff Rokatai, God Life and Hip Hop. I'll yeah. really appreciate that. Okay. All and right. we, we appreciate that. We, of course, wish you the best of luck in everything. Thank you, Philly. Now, before you perform for us, I have a Bible trivia for you. You are pass, you are going to have that Bible trivia. We see. We're going to have that Bible trivia. We see. But I'm going to have a Bible trivia. But I'm going to ask very simple ones. You ready? Okay, let's go. Uh, the Eighth Commandment. What's the Whoa. Eighth Commandment? Hey, man, the feeling. <laughs> Thou shall not. I will be guessing, truthfully. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit confused. Is it kill? Yeah. Is it kill? Thou shall no. Not kill? You actually, William Zavizuri, thou shall not bear like, false witness. Thou false shall witness. not bear false witness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and question number two. In which city was Jesus born? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem. You mm -hmm. got that. Uh, the people who brought gifts when he was born. Like, it's just yeah. Jesus oriented. Yeah. Yeah. The, who brought him gifts? The wise man. The wise man. Yeah. Five fruits of the Holy Spirit. Let's go. Number one. Wow. Joy, patience, long suffering, um, calmness. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the way she's looking at me. I said joy, patience, long suffering. Um, uh, it's okay. Effort, effort. Right. We move. We move. All right. All right. All right. Now, which angel? The last one. There are five. So, the last one. Which angel told Mary she'll give birth? Gabriel. Uh, Angel Gabriel, yeah. that's me. We, we can go on. Say me, me. The Holy Spirit is over here. <laughs> Thank you so much for making time. Now Thank your you socials. So Where much. do people connect with you? Because there's someone right here, Munyana Sama. He's on the hip hop. And it was uh, Angel. Actually, let me just read you this comment. It's yes, all sure. about you. And it was uh, Young Dishes, Lanes, and Sama. The rapper is amazing. He's on the rap to Nadai Kenya. Aposawa, man. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, man. Jeff yep. Katai. Mm -hmm. YouTube, I Jeffro Katai pretty much everywhere. So when you yeah. go to Facebook, Jeffro Katai, just add me friend, I'll add you back. Okay. When you go to Twitter over there, I can be a little bit political, international relations, Ninini. But Jeffro Katai, IG also Jeffro Katai. All right, we yeah. love it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank so, we're gonna you. let you perform. Which song are you performing for us? Is it yeah? Song, song for Mama. Is it possible? Do you have it? Yeah, yeah we have I it. Love it. Ah, all right, for so, all the mothers and all the women out, 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 out of respect for the, for the women right. and allies. Okay. This is dedicated to all the mothers out there. The ones who are with us, the ones who have left us, uh, thank you for raising us. We truly, truly appreciate you. Song for Mama featuring Daniel Chikwaza. Okay.